is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another WWE Ultimate Edition review on the brand new Ultimate Edition Fiend Bray Wyatt figure. Very sick. You know, I did not expect Hollywood Hulk Hogan and The Fiend to both show up at my door this morning, but I figured go ahead and make two separate reviews because both of these guys are going to have so many details and stuff, and I don't want to spend 35 minutes on it in a single video. I figured you guys would rather take a closer look at both of them in separate videos. So today, we're taking a look at The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Guys, this thing looks sick. I think it is going to end up being better than his Elite. You got a lot of details going on with it. This is another figure that a lot of people were highly, highly excited for right next to Hulk Hogan. This is definitely probably our best pair of Ultimate Editions in a little bit, and I think everybody's going to be very excited for these, and they are going to be highly sought after, but getting into the packaging, guys, you have the Fiend Bray Wyatt up here, front viewing window of the figure, Ultimate Edition logo down here, an image of the Fiend right there. On the back, you get a product image, which looks really, really sick. The Fiend Bray Wyatt, an image of him killing Finn Balor right here, which is upsetting. If you guys would like to read the little bio read right there, you can right now. Again, some more stuff going on over here. You got the Fiend Bray Wyatt over there, and that pretty much does it for the packaging, guys. I think both guys are on back order right now, but you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. A huge shout out to WrestlingFigures.com and Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible, sending us these figures, and I can't stand it anymore, man. I'm excited to get into this Fiend Bray Wyatt. I had some issues with it when I saw the promo images. I wonder if those will live up to this review, but we won't know unless we dive in and find out, guys. So with that being said, let's dive into the Fiend Bray Wyatt and find out what the hell his Ultimate Edition is all about. So here's the Ultimate Edition fitting out of the packaging, guys. Looking quite swell, you know. I, I will say that I'm liking what we got going on over here. There are a few nitpicks that we're going to get into and all of that stuff, but we're going to do it just like we did the Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure, guys, and we're going to dive into the accessories first, and then we will get into the Fiend himself. Showcase his articulation because we do have some new articulation on this guy compared to his Elite figure that we got with his two prior Elite releases. So what we're going to do is dive into his accessories first and then come back and cover the Fiend Bray Wyatt himself and take a look at his comparison. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into these accessories. All right, guys, so getting into the Fiend's accessories, diving in first, guys, I feel like we don't get near as much as we got with Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So diving in here, guys, of course, you do get interchangeable head sculpts. This is an ultimate edition. Let's start off with the standard head sculpt. I'm pretty sure this is the same head sculpt that we got with our Elite Fiend figure, except it feels like the hair is a little bit more loose, like it's not as attached to the head, and I kind of like this. It's more of a dreadlocky, more braid-like, and I also noticed that on this head sculpt, they added, like, a sheen to the mask and they also added like a little bit too much black I feel like to the teeth I feel like it'd look better if this was cleaned up a little bit but nonetheless it looks good it's a freaky mask this is the uh, head sculpt that it has on the packaging so there's that and then the interchangeable head sculpt is this one the new one with the tongue sticking out and that is sick nasty particles I'm really enjoying the way this head sculpt looks I like the tongue I like the hair color it's pulled straight back as you guys can see so it's not like in his face and it's just really freaky man I mean I like this a lot I like the hair tone I like the the way this looks. It looks indeed great. I think they did really, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but this looks good. The tongue looks good. Sculpt sticking out of the mask. I mean, what more can you ask for out of a Fiend head sculpt? And if you guys, I mean, you guys know how to put on head sculpts nowadays. It's the same thing, but here they are up next to each other, and I think I do like the tongue out more. I don't know. It's just kind of freaky, or maybe it's because it's new, but both of them do look really, really good. So if we move on from that, guys, we also get the Fiend Universal Championship, and this is really nice. You got the Fiend mask sculpted right there hurt, hurt, heal, heal. You got all the stitching on there. And one thing that's really sick, you guys can see here, it says let and then there's nothing really. I don't see me anywhere on it, but then it says in over here. You got the buckles sculpted on there. All the stitching is sculpted and all of this is sculpted. It's not flat. It actually has textures and depth to it, so you don't have to worry about it being really plain Jane. All of it looks really good. I really like it. I feel like it's pretty damn big. Like, I feel like it's much bigger than other, you know, uh, championships that we've gotten in the past. And it does buckle like a certain, you know, regular WWE Championship or whatever, but this looks very nice. I'm very satisfied with the way this Fiend Championship looks, and I'm very happy to have, you know, waited and everything like that. I think that Mattel did a really excellent job on this. I think that all of the all of the accessories that we got with Hulk Hogan, all of that went into this championship because the sculpt and everything looks really, really nice. Feels really good. You can feel all these details and the paint detail and everything, so really excited to have this in the collection there. And then the last thing that we have is going to be the interchangeability on the Fiend figure 
which we're going to get into now. So just like every other Ultimate Edition, guys, you are going to get the interchangeability for the upper torso, and for this one, it is no different for the Fiend Bray Wyatt. So what you would do is, I guess we can go over these arms real quick. You do get the jacket arms, and you also get the interchangeable palmed hands or the gloved hands here, just like we got with his Elite figure. You have the mic holding hands, and then you have the flat slapping or, you know, hurt heel style hands. And this, these jacket arms actually have some nice sculpt going on. You got the silver bullets going on. The bullets, you guys get what I'm talking about. They are pinless joints here. You got some nice sculpt going on with the plugs right here. The other arm is the exact same. So bo both arms are a genuine copy of one another, just right and left. And then you do have the jacket right here, which looks really nice. I honestly would like to see cloth accessories instead of the interchangeable double jointed arms because you're still going to get the double jointedness if you have these arms just with sleeves over it. But you know, it is what it is. I understand it. The interchangeability is cool. You do get the cuts in the back. You get all these details, silver buckles and, and the little pendants or whatever the hell you want to call these little bullets or whatever the hell I call them. Anyways, what you would do for this, guys, is you will unplug the arms like we've seen on other Ultimate Editions. Good God. Okay, that arm was stuck in there for sure, but you'll just unplug right here at the shoulder. And then what I've learned from Ultimate Editions in the past is just plug this over like a normal vest would. So you plug it over like that. And then you would come in and just plug in these arms. It's very weird because I feel like every Ultimate Edition we've ever gotten, besides maybe Ultimate Warrior, has had this same feature. Like Shinsuke had it. Finn Balor didn't have it. Triple H didn't have it. But you guys know that Ronda Rousey had it. Bret Hart had it. Shinsuke had it. I guess Brock Lesnar didn't have it unless I already said that. I don't know. I guess it's kind of half and half. But you guys can see here we do have the nice jacket going on. It fits the figure really well and everything like that. I think the double jointed arms are really nice. The only thing that's crappy about the Ultimate Edition, like switching out arms and doing the interchangeability and like flexing them and stuff, is it gets kind of loose right here. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but like when you try to articulate the arms sometimes, the arm will just come unplugged randomly. But I like what's going on with that. I think the jacket looks really good on the figure. Um, I hate that you get a little bit of gaffage, but you know, it's not the biggest deal there. But you guys can see how good it looks on the figure and everything like that. But oh man, I can already see what I'm hating about this figure already. But anyways, guys, that does it for your accessories pretty much. Uh, you get the belt, you get the interchangeable arms, and you do get the jacket accessory with the tongue out head sculpt or the, 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 the tongue out head sculpt. So there you go. But now that we have done that, guys, let's take a closer look at Fiend Bray Wyatt himself. All right, guys, so diving into the Fiend himself, looking at the head sculpt. This is the same head sculpt we got on his top talents figure and his Elite 77, I'm pretty sure. If any difference, it's just like the hair color may be a little bit different than the, than the you know, the running change they had. It's also, seems like this is a bit more loose. Like, it's not as attached to the head. It's actually free and loose, which I like to see. Going down into the torso, guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the prayer hands are featured. Now, one thing that's weird is that it's featured on the top half and the bottom half. So when you lean this back, you guys can see at certain angles, you can see like prayer hands there and there. And you can see these like zigzag patterns, which I don't remember the zigzag patterns, but it is an off black with a glossy black. And you'll notice also that there's a little bit of black paint chip right there. And it looks like his torso got torn a little bit and also down here. So he's got a couple spots there, which I don't enjoy. He does have the pinless double jointed arms, which you like to see. And he doesn't have bu uh, butterfly joints like we saw in Ultimate, you know, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, but uh, he can still do all the things you need him to do. The torso is pretty crappy as far as articulation. You guys know the Ultimate Edition's ab crunch isn't really there. He can go back a little bit. You do get some diaphragm shift here. The double jointed arms are nice to see and everything. Again, no butterfly joints or anything. Uh, no sculpted on belt. I would have loved to seen a sculpted on belt, especially for an Ultimate Edition, because his basic has a sculpted on belt, but his Elite or his Ultimate doesn't have a sculpted on belt. Very, very weird. The red color also is lighter and brighter and more accurate in my personal opinion. I think this red looks a little bit better. But for me, man, the, the legs just look stumpy. Is it me? It just I feel like the Ultimate Edition Fiend just looks too stumpy. Like, I feel like his legs need to be a little bit thicker, a little bit longer, and everything like that. It just looks like a little Oompa Loompa rocking around right here. But I don't know. I, I don't know what you guys can let me know what you think down below. His boots are new here. He does have the sculpted over covers with the locks and the, and the belts and buckles and all the good stuff. He does have the toe articulation, little black paint or a uh, little red tips on his boots there, which looks really good. I like the Fiend figure. I just don't look how, I don't like how stumpy he looks, but everything as far as articulation is good. Again, you do get some paint nicks there, and uh, the, uh, how high this torso sits up, the praying hands continuated. It makes it look like he's got like two or three graphics on there instead of just the one, so that looks a little bit off, but I don't know, man. It's not bad at all. He is on ball joints, if you guys were wondering, but I would have much rather seen um, a thicker, you know, thicker legs, longer legs, but since they made the elite 
see this way. I doubt, you know, they were going to change it for the Ultimate Edition. But if you guys wanted to get into some Bray Wyatt Elite Figure comparisons, guys, here is the Ringside Exclusive. And you guys can see how short the Ringside Exclusive Firefly Funhouse Bray is. Here is the Elite Figure, and you guys can see the difference here. It looks like the Ultimate, I don't know, they're pretty, they're pretty much the same. You guys can see the difference in the red colors here. And I don't know, I feel like the Ultimate looks a little bit more frumpy. I think the torso for the Elite looks better, to be honest with you. I wish that the Elite had double jointed arms, but I don't know, man. I kind of like the Elite better, at least looking at it from this perspective. I like the way the Elite looks better. Of course, it doesn't have double jointed arms. It doesn't have the graphic, but I like the way the torso looks better. It's, it just looks more, I don't know. It's kind of odd to see. You guys can let me know what you think down below. You also have Alexa Bliss. If you guys wanted to see uh, Alexa Bliss, the new Elite 82 Alexa Bliss up next to the Fiend, that is what that would look like as well. But I don't know, man. I mean, you got some good things going on with it. It just, at the end of the day, it just looks a little bit frumpy lumpy, and I definitely like the Hollywood Hulk Hogan more than the Ultimate Fiend, but if you're a Fiend fan, you're definitely going to enjoy this, and uh, here is the Firefly Funhouse Bray Basic, which I think is an excellent basic, one of the best basics of the year, no doubt. And then one of my fans actually commented down below, they wanted to see what the Ultimate Fiend looked like up next to Ultimate Finn Balor, so there's a shot of that, and then Ultimate Brock Lesnar, so here's Ultimate Brock Lesnar up next to the Ultimate Fiend figure, if you guys wanted to see that, uh, a little bit higher there, and the Finn Balor should definitely not be taller than the Fiend. The Fiend's supposed to be 6'3"-ish, and so yeah, Finn Balor's definitely like an inch or two taller, and he's supposed to be six foot or 5'11", so that's definitely not accurate. Uh, legs could definitely be better. I feel like if they were this thickness and this length, it would look a whole lot better, but you know what, man? This is what we got. I like the Ultimate Fiend. I think it looks good. It's just a frumpy, dumpy, oompa loompa, Willy Wonkin looking ass legs. We don't like that, Brad. Go get yourself a damn golden ticket, Bradley. But anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much going to do it for the Ultimate Elite Action I don't know what the hell I'm saying. That's going to pretty much do it for the Ultimate Fiend figure, man. If you have the Elite and you don't really care to get the Fiend Universal Championship, you don't really care about the interchangeable jacket, I would honestly say that the Elite is worth the grab. You know, just stay with the Elite. I don't think the, the Ultimate is a must cop, to be honest with you. If you guys just want the, you know, the Ultimate, you want the jacket, you want the Fiend Universal title, you like the boot covers, you like everything going on with the Ultimate Edition, then definitely get it. The tongue out head sculpt is fantastic as well. If you guys want to grab this, go over to Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS and save yourselves 10%. But again, I don't think it is just undoubtedly a must cop. I don't think it's just end of the world, gotta have this figure. But if you guys are, you know, big Fiend fans, if you love Bray Wyatt, all of that jazz, then yeah, man, this, this may be the figure that you want to cop. But, you know, I would understand it. But that is going to do it for my review, guys. Overall thoughts is I like it. I just don't like the stumpiness. I think that all the accessories are cool and everything. But at the end of the day, if I were making this figure, I would definitely upgrade those legs. He's too short and stumpy, lumpy, frumpy, fump. And a frumpy, pump, pump, and a lump, thump, thump. But if we're getting into our random shout-out, guys, shout-out to Random Person. Guess that worked out. For this comment, he says, Ringside, mid-December, MDT, not Brad, late November. I thought that was a good comment there. I thought that was funny. So a huge shout-out to Random Person. And I... I guess that fits the theme, right? A random shout out to a random person. If you leave me a comment and a like on the video, you could end up with a random shout out. So, huge shout out to a random person there, but that is going to do it for my review on the Ultimate Fiend, guys. You guys know all my thoughts. If you want to grab it, get it at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS. Get in on all their Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Fart Friday sales, and let me know what you think of this Fiend down in the comment section below. Do you guys like the Hollywood Hulk Hogan or do you like the Fiend better? Let me know down below, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video.